Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we'll introduce tips and tricks for common facade material creation. Stucco or concrete surfaces feature a matte, slightly rough texture with subtle variations. To create this material in D5 Render, you have two simple approaches. The first is using AI PBR Material Snap. Upload a reference image of the stucco or concrete you want and let the AI automatically generate a matching PBR material for you, complete with maps that capture the surface's roughness and micro details. Slightly tweak its normal and color and you'll get a super realistic stucco material. The second approach is starting with a material from D5 Asset Library and refining it to match your scene. After applying the material, you can adjust the base color to set the overall tone. The normal map defines the subtle bumps and micro textures on the surface. The roughness map simulates the matte, grainy finish of stucco. Setting a low specular value will give you the soft, natural reflections typically seen on plastered walls. Finally, it's important to enable UV randomizer and fine tune the UV scale. It ensures the texture blends smoothly and avoids any noticeable repetitive patterns on large facades. Transparent glass is defined by its clarity, reflections, and the way it interacts with light through refraction. Glass materials can also be generated using the AI PBR material snap feature, so we won't go into that again here. Instead, let's focus on fine-tuning the material details after you've applied it. Large architectural facades often have a subtle blue tint, so shifting the base color tone slightly in that direction helps achieve a more realistic look. The normal map plays an important role as well, since it can simulate the slight waviness that appears on real glass. By importing different normal maps, you can even create fluted glass and frosted glass. For glass curtain walls, both the specular and opacity values should remain relatively high to capture clean reflections. Also, Let's refine the refraction setting, which controls how light bends as it passes through the surface. If your exterior facade is modeled as a single surface, make sure to enable the thickness option so the refraction behaves correctly. As with other materials, don't forget to adjust the UV settings to ensure the texture flows naturally across the glass panels. Polycarbonate panel or translucent glass is essentially a variation of the transparent glass material, so we'll continue using the transparent material template. After adjusting the basic parameters using the methods described earlier, achieving the translucent effect is very straightforward. Simply enable the affected by light option and then fine tune the opacity value. With this option, it's easy to create anything from softly diffused panels to semi-transparent facades. Brick and stone facades are defined by their pronounced surface relief, which can be easily recreated in D5 Render using the displacement material. If you have a height map for a stone wall, simply enable true displacement and tweak the height intensity. D5 will generate geometry based on the height map to create realistic surface depth. Your stone wall material is now ready to use. That completes our tutorial for common facade materials. Thanks for watching.